The internet is a wonderful resource, but when it comes to pet nutrition, not all of the information found there is reliable. Here's how to help clinic staff and your clients distinguish the good from the bad. When I encounter a website, a blog, or a podcast, I ask myself four questions. Who's authoring this site? What are their credentials? When was the content last updated? And are they delivering objective information or merely marketing a product? Keep in mind, a resource that's marketing a product could have helpful science-based information. And by applying these questions, readers will be better able to separate the science from the cell. There are several resources that I turn to on a daily basis. PurinaInstitute.com. Although it has Purina in its name, it's not a megaphone for any pet food brand. The Purina Institute shares Purina's latest scientific breakthroughs and provides objective, fact-based pet nutrition information sourced from the wider scientific community. WSAVA.org is the website of the World Small Animal Veterinary Association. It's renowned for credible information that's always current and backed by sound research. I use materials from their Global Nutrition Toolkit every day. Another resource is AHA.org, the website of the American Animal Hospital Association. AHA helped create nutrition assessment guidelines and regularly features nutrition information. PetNutritionAlliance.org is a non-branded resource that offers nutrition tools for healthcare teams. In full disclosure, I have served on the board of this group. This is the URL for Pet Foodology, a great blog hosted by the Veterinary Medical Center and created by the veterinary nutritionists at Tufts University. It's dedicated to the scientific study of pet nutrition. And finally, AFCO.org is hosted by the Association of American Feed Control Officials, a nonprofit organization that sets standards for animal feeds and pet foods in the United States. They have useful information about pet foods on their website.